Hi folks, Jamie here from Paul Hahn and Company with a quick primer on how to clean a lacquer or French polished finished piano. It's not difficult or time consuming. Leave the inside of your piano to us, but you can do the outside yourself. If your piano was made before the 1940s and hasn't been refinished, it probably was originally French polished. If the finish looks like a cross between old leather and alligator skin, it's absolutely an original French polished shellac. If your piano was made between the 1940s and the 1980s, it's probably finished in nitrocellulose lacquer. Generally speaking, keep liquids away from your piano. Don't use it as a drink coaster or a display shelf for your flowers. If it does get even a little drop of water on it, dry it off immediately. Keep it out of the sun, away from liquids, and regularly moisturize it with lemon oil. If your piano is just starting to show the signs of drying out, buy real lemon oil, not a polish with lemon oil. Apply the oil to a soft cloth, spread it over the finish, let sit for a few minutes, and then wipe it off with a clean, dry, soft cloth. If very dusty, apply liberally to all horizontal surfaces, making sure that it doesn't drip down any edges. Spread the oil lightly over the surface to pick up the loose dust. Then, using a clean section of the cloth, go over the surface again to ensure that the oil is evenly applied. Sprinkle a liberal amount of oil onto the cloth and apply it to all the other wooden surfaces of the piano evenly. Try not to get any oil on or between the keys, and try especially not to let any oil go inside the piano. After you have applied oil to all the case parts, use another clean cloth to remove any excess oil. Do this in the same order that you first applied the oil. This way, it has a chance to soak in a little. You may want to go over it again with a clean cloth an hour or so later, just to do a final polish. If the finish is leathered, lemon oil might help a little, but chances are, to make it look new, it will have to be refinished. The secret to cleaning a lacquer finish is to not have to. Dust the piano often using a feather duster, and if you have to remove a smudge or blot, use a slightly damp cloth followed by a dry soft cloth. Never use any kind of over-the-counter polishes, like Pledge or Endust. When I was little, I would wake up every Sunday morning to the sound of my mother dusting the piano. Of course, she was dusting everything, being my mom. But nothing else in the house made that familiar ba dum ba dum ba dum sound of her cleaning the keys. In general, the technique to clean both ivory and plastic key tops are the same. Spray a soft cloth with a little water or Windex, Clean a small section at a time and dry immediately with a dry cloth. Make sure you clean the sides of the black keys and the fronts of the white keys. I should tell you, though, that all you need to do to your piano on a regular basis is dust with a Swiffer or feather duster and wipe all the keys, like my mum, from the back to the front with a soft cloth. Do this once a week and you'll only need to seriously clean your piano once a year unless someone has dirty fingers or an accident. And that's it. If you have ivory key tops, don't close the key cover unless you need to protect them against marauders, ivory yellows if not exposed to light. Plastic, on the other hand, especially the plastic keys made in the 1960s to the 1980s, can turn yellowish if not kept covered. By the way, the main reason that keys get chipped is because something has been used to depress them other than fingers. For example, a toy car or a G.I. Joe. Please remind every little pianist, fingers only on the keys. No toys or feet or elbows, please. For more information, check the description of this video. Thank you.